Comforter of the universe Come Jesus, Savior of the world Come sweet all the Spirit I need you Come teach me all I need to know. Come speak to us, O oh God, our King. Come deliver us, Jesus. Come and help us. Take over this message, I pray. Come, Father of all, come be glorified, I pray. Come, Jesus, Savior, come be magnified. Come, Holy Spirit, direct our ways, we pray. Let it be known that Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I welcome you, Holy Spirit of the living God. I welcome you. Jesus, I welcome you. I declare your Lordship. I cover this message with the blood of Jesus. I cover every hearer with the blood of Jesus. Father, I pray that every hearer, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, you give them heart of flesh, the heart of stone will turn into heart of flesh. I pray that these words, O oh God, will not stand against us on the day of judgment in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever the time is with you. Hello, it's me once again. I'm Sister Banke Oyebade. I'm an end time messenger of the Lord God and the Father, our Father Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And um, today, unfortunately, I have something that doesn't seem to look too good. I want to share about... Um, Babies, babies going to hell. Ninety-eight percent of the babies and children on earth right now are on their way, except something is done urgently. And that's the reason why I want to share this video. Some time ago, I happened to be reading a book. And in the book, they were talking about um, Harry Potter. One of the um, enemies of the children. They were actually talking about some of the enemies of the children. I've always known this, you know, so many, so many, so many years ago because the Lord has actually been, you know, giving me messages about children and all that. And in, even including um, children cartoons and children videos, I've been having revelations over about them. Okay. So even some of them dates back to like, Maybe well, well over 20 years ago. So some of them dates back to like 20 years ago that I've been having revelations of God's warning. I've, you know, I've seen some children films being warnings to children and so many other issues. 
concerning um, children. So this one, I read about this in a book. And I saw what they said concerning some of the things they were teaching the children, the primary school children abroad. The primary and um, the nursery school children. And what they said was that they were teaching them magical words. And the parents need to protest against, you know, all the stuff. Anyway, they now wrote out some of the words they were teaching the children. Immediately I saw it. Something in me said... This is a demonic word. So I quickly used my hand to cover the word. This is the same word that they are teaching nursery school children. Me and adults now cannot look at that. Can you imagine? Me and adults cannot look at that word that they are teaching our children. Anyway, I use my hand you know to cover that portion where they wrote um, the word and I went over it then I said to myself wait a minute if I don't see the word because you know just as about I was about to read the word I felt in me the, the, the word I'm about to see now is a magical word or is a demonic word so I closed it so I now said to myself, wait a minute, if I don't see this word, how will I be able to tell parents the spelling of the word and and um, the word that I saw so that they can deliver their children? That was the greatest mistake that I did. One of the greatest mistakes I did. So I went back, lifted my hands, and looked at the word. And I told myself I wasn't going to read it out so that it does not release demons into the atmosphere. So I just looked at it in my and I read it in my heart. And I closed it back <laughs> and I moved on. I thought I was wise. I didn't know that I wasn't wise. That night, when I slept, I don't know which, I had two dreams. It's, this was 2018, 2019, before the pandemic, okay? I don't know which of the dreams came first, but I had two, is it rev revelations, two revelations that, First, I found myself in my father's house. Now, in this particular room, my auntie, who actually, who I actually discovered to be a witch, she's my father's senior sister, who I actually discovered to be a witch, had lived in that room. And thereafter, when I was growing up, I also lived in that room. And I remember that while growing up, I went through a lot of torment, a lot of attack. Several times, I would have died in that room. There were times where, you know, those days, we used to use um, lantern when they take lights. We use lantern when they take light, and sometimes I'll find all the, um, what do they call it, um, the, all the smoke, the particles of the smoke will be all over my nose, my eyes, my ears when I wake up. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. I've had some funny, funny, and, you know, I've had a lot of demonic oppression in that house but God saw me through it all now the same room 
I've been out of that house for so many years now. Now I found myself back in this room. Okay, after that room, I'd actually stayed in another room in the house before I finally left. But it was in that first room where I had my room to myself. Because before then, because I was much younger, I used to be scared of staying alone. So I used to stay with other people. But that room where my auntie left was the first room I had to myself alone. And the second one also to myself alone. But the first one I, this one where I found myself was the first room I stayed in my father's house alone. But now the setting of the room was different. There was a table by the window and on the table were ancient artifacts. Ancient artifacts. Dating maybe some of those artifacts or artworks. We are dating back to maybe probably over a thousand years. Maybe. I really don't know. But I knew from my spirit that these were ancient artifacts. Some of them were um, what is it called? Mummies. Figures of mummies. You know, like those Egyptian mummies. Figures, or should I call it carvings of mummies, carvings of um, pharaohs, carvings of pyramids. Um, what else? I think I wrote some things down before I started. Um, coins, golden coins, golden coins. You know, I have a forum um, friends called the Friends of Jesus and Jesus the Son of Righteousness. These two forums, um, the Lord has been leading me to expose a lot of things to people on the forum. And one of the things I got to be talking to them about was on the use of Bitcoin. I, I don't have, I really don't have any good explanation concerning this but i felt in my spirit that christians should not be involved with bitcoins and i told them and some of them have been asking me for scriptures i said God, for goodness sake there are some things you can't really <laughs> bring up scriptures for especially in today's world there are some things you really can't bring up scriptures for. But, you know, while I was writing some of the things, you know, I saw on that table today, I remember, wait a minute, I saw coins, golden coins, and bitcoins. I think they are golden, if I'm, I'm sure I'm right. They are golden coins, too. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. There seems to be a connection here. The truth is that, I th yeah, I think I think I've also had another person talk about this Bitcoin in a revelation that the the satanic people they use them. Yes, I think I've heard that satanist. That I think I heard that recently this year that satanists they use them. But when I shared it on um uh, uh, on my forum, I didn't really have. <laughs> I didn't really have any um, revelation or anything to back up what I was saying. But that's the way I felt in my spirit. That there was something wrong about this Bitcoin that people were using. Yes, the federal government of Nigeria finally banned it for a wrong purpose. They banned it with a wrong motive in mind. And I know why they banned it. Because their own people, <laughs> they are the ones um, dealing with um, foreign forex exchange. So they didn't want anything to bring that business down. So they had to ban <laughs> the Bitcoin. But 
for Christians is all well and good. They may not know. Anyway, so golden coins, um, cowries, jewelries were some of the things I saw on this table, displayed on this table. And in that revelation, I was just looking and wondering, number one, what am I doing here? And number two, what are all these on this table? It's, you know, it was so strange to me. What are all these on this table? That was dream number one. The next dream. So, in other words, those words, that, it was just one word. There were other words. I refused to look at them. Just one word transferred me in the spirit realm. To connect with, I don't know what I would call them, ancient, should I call it ancient times? Should I call it with um, satanic properties? What else can I say now? Anyway, you understand what I'm trying to say. Just one word that little children are brought Little children, nursery children, primary children are being taught. Oh my God. Abroad connected me to witchcraft, occultism, satanism. Can you, can you, can you see what is happening? That is revelation number one. Revelation number two. Now, this is not funny at all, but I have to say it. I have to say it. Most ministers will not tell you this. There are lots of embarrassing things I've had to say about what happened to me. Most ministers will not. But I say it for God's sake and so that God can expose a lot of strategies of the devil. The next revelation I found was I found my self and a, a little child i don't know whether it's a boy or girl but the person is a white is a white baby of about maybe one and a half years in a coven a coven yes guess what what I saw was doing, I had meat in my mouth. And the boy told me, whether the, I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. The baby also had meat in his mouth. In its mouth. When I woke up, oh my God, I was sad. I, I was depressed. How can I? A child of God find myself in a coven. But guess what? For more than two, three months, I was shaking physically. Shocked. How can a child, number one, I was shocked about myself finding myself in a coven just because of one word I read. I didn't even read it out. One word I read silently in my heart. I was so disappointed with myself. I was so shocked. But more shocking was the fact that I was seeing a baby. Of course, I was also shocked about the fact that in my mouth was meat. Raw meat. I know nobody will tell you that, but I need to tell you the truth. I need to tell you the truth so that you will deliver yourself and you should deliver your children. In my mouth was raw meat. I, you know, it was just there. I wasn't eating it. but <laughs> And the same thing concerning the child. I wasn't eating it, but I don't know why. But it was there in my mouth. I just held it like that. 
when I woke up, I was too disappointed. Dis I was like, God, why me? What am I doing with in a coven with meat in my mouth? How can this be? God, why, 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 why? But more disappointing was to find a child, a child of about one year to one and a half year in a coven also with meat in its mouth brethren I'm, I'm telling you the truth I didn't get myself for almost three months I was just too shocked God how can a child of one and a half years one and a half year or one year be in a coven. How? Lord, how? That was the greatest, one of the greatest shock I found. And guess what? This is what they are teaching them in schools in US, Europe, and many of you, you carry your children to Europe. I'm taking my children to the best schools in Europe. I'm taking my children to the best schools in America. You better bring your children home. But guess what? Even most of many of our schools here in Nigeria, which witchcraft has also infiltrated them. One of these days, I'm going to talk about schools. Some schools. Anyway. Even here in Nigeria, I remember this is about 2007. Around 2007, I remember that a white friend of, um, I had this, um, friend with, um, um, whose children, yeah, British, Nigerian British, how do they call it? British Scotia in Nigeria, Lagos. I happened to look at some of the books that the children ha have, and I was shocked. Number one, they don't read Bible, but you need to see the stories they were reading, that the children were reading. This, their storybooks, these were satanic stories. They were reading about fairy tales. They were reading about ancient gods and the rest of it. But Bible is not allowed. And you people, including your Christians, you go and put your children in such school. You gather the resources God has given you. Pay so much and go and put your children in useless schools. And you tell, and you are telling the whole world, my children, my children are in the best schools. No, they are in the, they are in the best satanic courts. Or should I say the worst satanic courts? That's what, where your children are. This is as far back as 2007 in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. I saw that. I noticed that many of these schools, top schools, they are actually into satanism. Brethren, we need to be very careful. So for two, three months, I did not get myself the shock. Because what I came to understand was that nine, probably 98% of the children and the whole wide world have been initiated into witchcraft. If I could see that child of one, maybe about one, one and a half years in the court, then I knew definitely that about 98% of the children in the world have been initiated one way or the other. And most of those initi initiation will have come through, you know, apart from, you know, the demonic words they are teaching those children in schools. Remember, 
the TV is one of the major, major forum that is introducing children into witchcraft. That was what really made me to be shaken for about three months. Because almost all the children in the world are watching cartoons. And most of the cartoons, almost all, there is hardly a cartoon that is not filled with witchcraft. As a common, uh, uh, is it Mickey Mouse they call it or what do they call it? Is it Mickey Mouse? You know, I don't watch, it's been long I've watched TV, so <laughs> I don't even know. I think it's Mickey Mouse, they call it. Yes, the Lord told me about even that. That is teaching the children about rebellion. Teaching the children the ministry of Satan. To kill. To destroy. The ministry of the of the devil. That's what Mickey Mouse and the rest of them, they are teaching the children. But a lot of them, they are teaching children satanic, satanism, witchcraft. I remember when I was very young, I didn't take them seriously those days. But I remember I've heard while my little ones were watching TV, I've heard, you know, some of these cartoon images making incantations. And I didn't take it serious then because I didn't, you know, I didn't take it serious then. But it's now done on me. Wait a minute. I used to hear them saying things. You just think it's, you know, it's fun. It's not fun. These are, every time they are saying those words, they are releasing demons and what have you into your houses and into the lives of the children and so the children will not be able to make heaven i realize this is what the lord has been telling me for years that many children cannot make heaven because of a lot of these cartoon images and a lot of things their parents are buying for them all the souvenirs that this, their parents are buying for them bags and towels and bed sheets and curtains with the images of this cartoon hello these cartoon images are real life demon that is what the lord is saying these cartoon images are real life demons parents it is time you wake up and deliver your children it is time you wake up and deliver your children before it is too late if you don't to start doing serious deliverance on your children now, your children will not be able to make heaven. After that encounter, I had to go on serious deliverance for myself. In fact, I, I remember telling um, one of our pastors, Pastor, Pastor Mrs. Funto Augusto, that, you know, I had a revelation about children that really shook, shook me. That was when they also had um, the organized um, program for children in church. But when, what they were talking about was quite different from what the Lord was revealing to me. And I really wished I could share. But, you know, one of the problems with churches, all our churches, they always have their own agenda. They always have their own program. You can't come in between their own program. And this is the reason why many Christians and children will not be able to make heaven. Because churches will just not give you that time to share a lot of secrets that the Lord is revealing. Because they always have their own program. You know, choir is going to sing for 40 minutes. Prayer is going to go on for 30 minutes. The word is going to go on for one hour. Tithes and offering this. It's, there is always so much legalism. Legalism is killing our churches. Legalism is one of the traps of the devil to stop people from making heaven. Because many truths that will have been told. 
the Galilee have said, no, you can't bring that there. You can't bring that here. You can't talk about this. Now it's not time to talk about this. Legalism is killing the church. The churches. Legalism is the reason why many Christians have missed the information that will save them. And legalism is the reason why many Christians today will not be able to make heaven in many churches. And many ministers of God, pastors, Jews, are going to pay dearly for this legalism. Because of legalism, they have stopped the Holy Spirit. They will not allow the move of the Holy Spirit. When you want to have the move of the Holy Spirit, they will say, time up, time up, time up. They've caged the Holy Spirit. No, you can't minister beyond 30, 40 minutes. And you see, when it comes to the move of the Holy Spirit, it's always difficult to do it within 30, 30, 40, one hour. When you also know you have a lot to share to the people, to expose them to the truth. It's always difficult because also people, you need to give people time to respond to the Holy Spirit. Some people, you pray for them within five minutes, they receive. Others, you pray for them for 10, 15 minutes. So it's not just dependent on me and the Holy Spirit. It's also dependent on how fast people respond to the move of the Holy Spirit. So because of that, many people that could have been healed in many churches, many people that could have been delivered, many people that could have been set free, many people that could have been baptized in the Holy Spirit, in many churches, I don't get to do that. I don't get to go into all that prayer because churches have their own rules. It's not about the rules of God. It's about their own rules. It's about their own legalism. They won't allow the move of the spirits because, you know, they, they have to close before 10 o'clock. They have to close before 11 o'clock. But when they have useless things to do, like you know, probably one of their mamas is or papas is having birthday. They can stay till two, three o'clock. They can stay till two, three o'clock. But when you're talking about information, most of them will not even allow you to share. They won't even allow you to share it. It's sad. That's the reason why many Christians are going to hell. But more sad, more sad. It's children that are going to hell. I've been hearing about children going to hell. And I was thinking may maybe the children going to, that are in hell right now, maybe they are all above four, clock, uh, four years old or above three and a half years old. But now with that revelation, it dawned on me that that means even children as old as one year old will be in hell fire for witchcraft. They will be in hell fire for witchcraft. I'm going to do another video because I don't want this to be long. I'm going to expose much more. I'm going to do another video. Okay? Well, I want to round up with this. I want to talk about some, some um, children things that are taking children to hell. Number one, little mermaid. Number two, mommies alive. Number three, dungeons and dragons. Number four, power rangers. Number five, Aladdin. Number uh, six, tiny tattooed adventures. Number seven, beast wars. Number eight, angry beavers. Number nine, beast wars. Number ten, smurf. Number eleven, Back to Sh Sherwood. Twelve tales from crypt keepers. Thirteen Casper. Fourteen Sailor Moons. Fifteen Mystic Warriors. Seventeen Gaggles. Um, Eighteen Digimon digital monster you know the devil normally tells people 
that this thing is evil, yet parents will buy it for their children. They say something is monster. Some of you, you still buy it for your children. You still buy those videos for your children or you allow your children to watch those videos. Let me tell you something, parents. If your children end up in hell, you as well will end up in hell. That is why I'm crying now and I'm shouting now. Take all your children for deliverance. Anyway, let me quickly finish this one. Captain Planet, Disney, Hercules, Barbie. There's still so many of them. You know, if you go, to, please, I want to beg every one of you, go through. I have already on the YouTube. My name is Banke Oyebade. Did I introduce myself? My name is Banke Oyebade. Yes, I did. Banke Oyebade. Type Banke Oyebade. Bank plus E is Banke. Oyebade, O-Y-E-B-A-D-E. -E. If you type it, it will introduce you to my videos. I have about 50 videos warnings on different issues of life the children videos there are about seven one of them is um raising heavenly bound children monitoring your children to heaven um satanic initiation is not strictly children but a, a number of things it has a lot to do with children too um checkpoints on the road to heaven it's not also strictly, no, no, not checkpoints on the road to heaven. <laughs> anyway, please, just go through my video. Um, you see some of the children, there is also warning from God to um, parents and children. I'm going to load some of those children's videos. I actually wanted to load about, this has happened at different times. I'll gather videos to load into the internet and they will all disappear it's happened again recently about 20 videos all disappeared from my phone you know so many strange things happen but it is well i'm going to try again i've actually asked somebody to help me but as usual it's always a struggle to get them to do it but anyway i'm going to load some more videos for the children okay so please watch those and then watch for yourself let your children go it take your children out for prayers please very urgently because jesus is coming anytime from now praise the lord um i just want to say this this won't be the first time i'm having this kind of um strange um revelations or um, or being exposed to to satanic or witchcraft stuff after reading a book. I remember when I was very young, I and my um, cousin, Aile, Aile Dalmeda, okay, um, my, my mom is um, from the Dalmeda families, okay, we went through my grandfather's um, book, he had a book and we went through his book. Innocent little children we were then. We didn't know anything. Obviously, my grandfather was, yes, I discovered later after his death that he was actually in the lodge. I didn't know. And my grandfather was such a person I would even call a perfect gentleman. So for such a perfect gentleman <laughs> to be in the cult was so strange to me. But he was in the cult. He was in the lodge. In fact, in their church, Methodist church. That was our church. Methodist church, Tinubu was our church. A lot of occult was going on there. Right in that church, even after I graduated from school, one of my grandfather's um, friends, was telling me I should come and join them. I was like, me, <laughs> me, you people not see people to call. It's me that you are calling to come and join the lodge. I was like, no, it can't be. But two, another person also asked me to come and join the lodge. But God was so good. 
I turned down the offers. Anyway, after looking through my grandfather's um, book when we were little children, my cousin and I slept. And when we slept that night, both of us had dreams, finding ourselves in war, in uh, a war front of white people. We are blacks here in Nigeria, but we found ourselves abroad in a war front. I had my own dream, and she also had her own dream, This exactly the same dream. When we woke up, you know, we woke up with so much fear. And when we woke up, I shared my own and she said she had the same dream. So I realized it was the book we both, you know, went through. And that's why we need to be very careful about some books. It's not every book. Some of you, they say book, uh, seven, anyway, let, let, let's, let's leave all that. That, I don't want this video to be. So please, parents, kindly, please. Kindly, please, rise up and do something about those children. Because if care is not taken, may those children not be left behind. Most of these children have been initiated already into witchcraft and occultism. Most of them are in Satan's kingdom already. As little as they are, most of them are already in occultism. So you need to deliver those children now before it is too late. I close with the scriptures. Proverbs 22, 22.6. Proverbs 22 says, it says, Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. But guess what people in the world are doing today? They are training their children with cartoons and buying images, demonic images. Let me tell you, the Lord says that, in fact, I don't know which of those cartoon images are not demons. Because the revelations the Lord has been giving to me and other people... Almost all those images that you see, those cartoons, are actually real life images. And I've had a lot of children, I've heard of a lot of children doing deliverances, confessing that they are having encounters with those cartoon images. They are having encounter with those cartoon images. That was why, you know, my brother's uh, wife. I was really angry with my brother's wife. But you know, sometimes it's like you can't control some people. You can't talk to them. If you talk to them, they think you want to control them. Okay? No, I'm not saying I, I want to control, but it's like you can't talk to some people. They feel like you want to control them when you are talking to them. I remember my brother's wife buying towels with man-made pictures, images on the towels. And in fact, the, the, the towel was made like a fish. It was made like a fish. And she bought it for her children. And I was saying to her, this is so wrong. This is, you want to introduce this children to witchcraft. You want to int int introduce this children to marine, marine, marine world. But she was like, hey, please, 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 carry your, carry your gospel away. You see, this is a problem with people. You know, a lot of people, they challenge you. A lot of people, they disagree with you. A lot of people, when you are telling them the truth, they turn blind eyes to it. They turn deaf ears to it. They don't want to hear you. They think you are insane. They think you are crazy. They don't know that, you, they, you know, you, there is there's something you know that they don't know. They don't know, and it's terribly bad. When somebody is telling you something, go and find out. Go and find out about it. Go and find out. When somebody is telling you something, go and find out. Instead of you just saying, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear about that. You, you, some of you, you think because you, 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 you've gone to school, you think you know too much. Let me tell you, life is beyond school. 
It's beyond just going to school. There is much more that is happening in this life beyond what we've been taught in school. So please, parents, be wise. Be wise so that your children and you yourself will not end up in hell. Because if, it, if those children end up in hell, there is no guarantee that you will not end up in hell. Except, of course, if those children end up in hell, you really go on praying and fasting, asking God to have mercy and deliver you. That's when you can be set free. But many parents don't even know that they've introduced their children to witchcraft. That's what you've done. Anytime you give your children all those cartoon images, you're actually introducing your children to witchcraft. Guess what God said again? Now, okay, before I, I, I move. So the Lord says, train up your children in the way of the Lord. Unfortunately, what parents are doing is they are training their children in the way of the devil. They are training their children with cartoons and toys. Please. Um, listen to my nasty experience with toys also on my YouTube. The video is there. I'm also going to read another scriptures in um, Genesis Exodus 20. Let's see what God says because God brought up this recently. The Lord said in Exodus 20 One, let me read from verse 3. It says, Thou shalt not have any other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Verse 4 says, Thou shalt not make, thou shalt not make, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Any graven image. Making those images of toys is a sin. Making images of cartoons is a sin. But the sad aspect is that almost all those cartoon images, those children cartoon images, they are real life demons. A lot. I don't want, because I don't want this video to be long, I will have been telling you several stories of children having encounters with demons. Which turns out to be the cartoon. Many of their, their cartoon uh, images, they are seeing them in dreams and in, in dreams and sometimes real life. And these images are empowering them to do extraordinary things. And you and I know that those powers they are giving to them is not of God because anything that does not come from God is not of God. Let's read on verse. For thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven, even making the images of Mary, Jesus, sun, moon, and stars is a sin, or that is in the earth beneath, making the images of fishes, animals. Is a sin. Making the images of man is a sin. And that's what they do in the cat in the with the cartoons. They are making putting images in the cartoon. All the things that God is saying we should not do is what they are doing. All that is in the, the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow thy, thyself to them, nor serve them. For I the Lord thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and to the fourth generation of them that hates me. Can you see? Even these punishments go to the children. When we, we sin, even these this ch children also bear part of the iniquities. So please, can we stop this? Genesis, let's, let me quickly read Genesis 6. Genesis 6, 6 4-7. In Genesis 6, 4-7, the Bible says, There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bore children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Can you say? Sons of God, these were the fallen angels. The fallen angels are the one called the sons of God here. 
these were not the angels. They would have said the 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 angels that are with God. These are not the angels that are with God. You know, these are the fallen angels. They are the one being called sons of God. And the Bible says that they began to what? Have relationship, intercourse with women. And the result was that they produced children. They produced children. And those children they produced, they became giants on earth. Guess what? Most of your children, as old as they are, some of them are actually having relationship, sexual relationship with those cartoon images. It doesn't matter whether you know or you don't know. But you are the one that is exposing them to all this. Because you have refused to set a boundary for your child, for your children. So they are having relationship. Because the devil has gone so bad. He's not a respecter of persons or age. He's not interested whether you are an adult or a child. He's having relationship. That's what the Lord, you know, ministered to me. The devil is having relationship with most of the children in the world. Both sexual. Some of them may not be sexual. Some of them he's just, you know, initiating them. Some of them he's introducing them whichever way. Any any of such encounter will stop the children from making heaven. So I call on you parents, stop this wickedness. Stop this evil that is happening in the life of your children before it is too late. Do not be the one who is sending your children to hell. I read verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. It grieved him at his heart. And this is exactly how the Lord is grieved with many children. Not only children, even the adults, but much more. The children that are supposed to be innocent, our children are no longer innocent. The children in the world are no longer innocent. We don't have innocent children anymore. We don't have innocent children anymore. Very few children are innocent. Very few children in the world are innocent because you parents, you've decided not to be bothered about what is happening in the life of your children spiritually. All you think about is how to send them to school, how to give them food. That's all that matters to you. You forget that sending them to school will not take them to heaven. You forget that feeding them with ordinary food will not take them to heaven. You forget that all the toys you are introducing to them will deprive them of heaven. You are the agents that is introducing the children to the devil. You are the agents that is introducing the children to demons. The Lord is saying, give me back my children. The Lord is saying, Give me back my children. Or the wise. You will not see my face. Says the Lord. The Lord is crying because of these children right now. The Lord is crying every day because of children. Many children are in hell fire right now. Many children are in hell. Children even as old as one Yes, one and children as old as one, one and a half years, they are in hell. <laughs> Brethren, this is sad. And that is why I told you for almost three months in 2019, I couldn't get myself together. The shock, the shock that came upon me. 
I couldn't get rid of it for a long time. I went through several prayers to also cut off that initiation through a word I only saw and read in my heart once. Meanwhile, many of these children, and maybe your own children too, they are reading those words every day. They are listening to those words on te television every day. So that means some children, they are senior witches. I've heard of children who are head of cults, head of covens. I've heard of it. I don't want to let this, I'm trying to avoid this video being too, too, too long. I've, 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 I've heard of a child that goes to, you know, goes to, is it goes to meeting and does all sorts of things, can manipulate somebody. In fact, while they were doing prayer for him, he was, he made a confession that he can act, he can make the person who was passing, a cleaner who was passing to come back. And he did it. And they asked him, where did you get all this power from? He said, from the TV. He was disturbing his parents. He was troubling his parents' home, troubling the family. That was why they brought him for deliverance. Brethren, a lot of children have been initiated into demonic world. Quickly, Genesis, still on Genesis 6, 6 and 7. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Today, the Lord is unhappy again, just as it was in the time of Noah. Unfortunately, even the way the Lord felt during the time of Noah is nothing compared to what is happening now. God is regretting so much. A lot of things because of a lot of things that men are doing upon the earth and because of a lot of witchcraft involvement the children are getting into and because their parents also allowed them. Let me tell you something. We've come to, a, to an age where sending your children to school is not so important anymore because Jesus Christ is going to come any time from now. So what's the point? Sending your little children to school it's not important anymore i bet you if christ does not come in this 2021 this is today is um 20th april 20th april 2021 if jesus christ does not come this this 2021 he may be coming in 2022 if he doesn't come in 2022 I, I doubt it if it will be as long as 2023. But if it's possible that he doesn't come in 2023, I tell you, it can, it, 2024 will not go. That is if Jesus Christ has not even come before then. There is no way. There is, I don't even believe Jesus Christ will stay up to 2024. Before he comes. I don't believe because the mark of the beast is already here. So why would Jesus Christ stay till 2024? So what am I trying to say in essence? You know what I'm trying to say now? It looks stupid. And some pastors, you go and tell some of your pastors. There are some pastors, I'm telling you some pastors, I don't know. I don't know how some of them think. I don't know. Some of them are not, some pastors are not heavenly conscious. If you know you are heavenly conscious and you are desperate about you making heaven, you are desperate about your children making heaven, if your children are in primary school, nursery and primary school, I will tell you, withdraw them. Because, and in fact, let me tell you, all the children in nursery and primary school, those sending their children to nursery and primary school right now, they are just wasting their money because after the nursery and primary school, all the money you spent in nursery and primary school will be wasted. Even most of the money parents spend on children in, in secondary school will be wasted because Jesus will come all of a sudden. I doubt if Jesus Christ will, will not come within this year or next year. I doubt. I'm not saying Jesus said. Don't quote. Don't say Sister Banker said Jesus said. I'm saying this is what I think, not what God told me. Okay? But I doubt. 
I doubt if Jesus Christ will not come before 2023. I doubt. So what I'm, if, if that is the case, sending your children to nursery and primary school now is just wasting money. Because at the end of the day, there is nothing they are going to do with all, all they've learned. But most, the, the, the most destructive part about it is that many, I'm not saying all the schools, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying all the schools. Many of these children have been initiated, even in some of the schools. However, if you can find a real God-fearing school, nothing is wrong with you sending your children to such, such schools, because such schools will also help. In fact, that's something I'm looking forward to doing. Because the way the thing, things are going, I'm looking forward to starting schools for children not because not really so much as for them to learn to be somebody in life because the truth is that there is no time again they are, they, these children will not attain that age where they will work with what they, they've learned but the purpose of the school yes they will learn basic a big basic knowledge but the major purpose will be to help them make heaven. That's something I'm looking forward. I'm just praying for the funds. And I look forward to that happening. But what I'm saying is, look, let me tell you, I will advise you parents, withdraw your children. And you parents, and you mothers especially, if you have a husband that is providing enough for the feeding, please manage. Forget about working. This is not the time for parents to be working. If you must walk, walk around your home so that you can monitor your children. You need to monitor your children. Do a business around your home so that you can monitor your children. It's so important. You have little children, especially you are going, you, you, you go, go, go to work and come back at night. Hey, don't allow your children to be carried off into satanic kingdom. This is a warning. I'll give to parents. If you tell your pastor about it, they will say that crazy woman, that woman is crazy telling you such a thing. But I can tell you that those pastors who will tell you that that woman is crazy is because they are not heavenly conscious. If they are heavenly conscious, they will see reason. Let me tell you, the people I can say should remain in school right now are those in the university. Maybe they have about a year or two to go. And those in the university, even themselves, I pray that Jesus Christ will not come before they graduate. So those that are at um, year three or year four or year five, maybe those ones can stay and finish up. But those who want to just uh, enter the university, let me tell you, I will not advise you. Rather, tell them to go and to go to Bible school or go to a place. Join a ministry that will help them to make heaven. That's the most important thing right now. That's the most important thing right now. They can as well learn some handiwork that will help them to make, uh, uh, uh to, to make ends meet. That will put food on their table. They can learn, but this is not the time you go to university. Genesis um, 6, 7. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping things, and the fowls of the air, for it's repented me that I have made them. Brethren, the Lord is about to start destroying the whole world. And that's why I'm calling to you now, save your children from the coming destruction before the wrath of God falls upon the world. Save yourself and your children. Do everything to save your children. Do everything to save yourself so that eventually every one of us will find ourselves in heaven. On this note, I say God bless you. Thank you for listening. Amen.